There are many important but boring tasks that most businesses avoid and documenting your standard operating procedures, your SOPs, is right at the top of the list. If this is a task that you've been putting off, then I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that because of AI, documenting SOPs is about to become even more important. So it's now moved into the urgent bucket. But the good news is, also because of AI, it's never been easier to create them. This task, which used to take hours, is now a 10-minute job using AI. So no more excuses. And here's the kicker. Next year, in 2026, when AI agents go mainstream, having all your SOPs documented will be your strategic advantage. Because if you can describe it, you can delegate it. And today, I'll show you a simple method to capture a process once and turn it into an SOP, which you can then hand to a colleague or to an AI agent. Okay, let's get into it. Welcome to My Way or the AI Way. I'm Scott Davison. I'm on a mission to master AI. And since I've been using AI, I've been getting a lot more productive at getting a lot of these boring but important tasks done. And SOPs is a great example of this. So what is an SOP, a standard operating procedure? An SOP is a clear step-by-step description of how a process is done and it's something that someone else should be able to follow without you. And why are these important? Well, the first reason is the bus test, the old adage, what would happen if you got hit by a bus? So many processes in a business are in the heads of people, often the owner or staff who've been there a while. Having those processes documented in an SOP gives you coverage if someone is away for unforeseen circumstances, and it can also be used to train up new staff. But there's another very important reason why SOPs can be valuable. If you're ever wanting to exit your business, if you're ever wanting to sell your business or transition it to a new owner, buyers love having processes documented and having all your key processes documented in advance can actually increase the value of your business and increase the likelihood of a successful sale. But the third reason, and the one that has become more and more important today, is that AI agents are becoming more and more common. And AI agents require step-by-step -step instructions in order to be able to automate processes. So having all your key business processes documented now in SOPs is going to set you up for success in the coming months and years, as some of these processes can then be outsourced to an AI. AI agent. So what sort of processes would normally be requiring an SOP? These are any repeatable processes that are done on a day-to-day -day or a weekly basis or even a monthly basis within your business. So they could be operational things like client onboarding processes. They could be finance related. So your end of month reporting, your invoice processes in your marketing team. These processes could be to do with content publishing or even IT processes such as incident response or security processes. These are all things that are important to the running of your business. And if the knowledge lives in someone's head, it would be good to have that documented in an SOP document. So here's how you can document these processes very quickly in less than 10 minutes using AI. And this method works for any online process in your business. And all you require is some screen recording software. So in my case, I used a, a Chrome plugin called Awesome Screen Capture, but any screen recorder will do. And most systems have them either built in or you can download an app, or you could even just do a Zoom call if someone else was describing the process and you just record the Zoom call with them screen sharing. Basically, you just need to be able to record what's happening on the screen and also record the microphone so that you can provide commentary and step-by-step -step instructions as you go through it. And you just go through the process as you normally would and you explain it step-by-step -step exactly like if you were explaining this process to a new staff member or to a colleague and you record that and save it as a video file. And you don't need to worry about being too verbose or lots of ums and ahs, you can take your time, go through it as you normally would. AI will be able to tidy it up and summarize it later. So once you've got your process recorded in video with your commentary included, you simply add that into AI. I use ChatGPT and you can use a prompt such as this. So I've been playing around with different prompts. This one seems to be working pretty well, but this or something similar, and obviously you can refine it for your needs, but 
I'll put this in the show notes and you can just copy and paste this as a starting point. So I always start with role. So the role is you are an expert process documentation specialist. The context is see the attached screen recording of this process for this company. The task is to create a clear self-contained SOP that a new person can follow and an AI agent can learn from. The deliverable, I've asked it to put it in a canvas so that it can easily be downloaded as a word file. Style, keep it concise, action verbs, scannable bullets, and flag any missing info as open questions so that you can add those later. And I always end all prompts with this, which is before you take action, do you have any questions? So that just allows AI to ask you a few qualifying questions before it goes off and creates the document and you'll get a better result that way. So as I say, I'll put that prompt in the show notes. You can just copy and paste that and tweak it to your own needs. And I've tried that a few times and that will give you a really good first draft of your SOP document in literally five to 10 minutes. And then you can then go through and refine it. So let me show you an example of this. Here's one I did earlier today. And this is for the process I use for uploading podcast episodes to YouTube and to Spotify. Every week I create a new episode, once it's edited, I've got a file. There's then sort of a number of steps I go through to upload it, to get it published. And this is exactly the sort of process that I could be outsourcing to another person if I had the resources. But now with AI, I could be creating AI agents to do these processes for me. And it works really well for a step-by-step -step process like this, which is pretty much the same thing I do every week with new, new episodes. There's a number of steps I go through. And that's what I did this morning. I just went through the process I normally would and I recorded it and I added my own commentary as I went. Okay. So I'm going to screen share here and talk you through the process quickly. And I'm actually re-recording this. So I got to the end of the video. I mean, I was testing a few things and discovered there's actually some steps here that didn't work properly. And I think it's important to share what hasn't worked as well as what has worked. So I'm going to talk you through the process that does work right now with the tools available. And it's a very quick process using Notebook LM. But I'm also going to talk you through how I tried to do this with ChatGPT and encountered a few problems and how I got around those. So a method that you can use with ChatGPT as well. I think this is important to share because it's important to share the wins as well as the fails. And this was definitely a fail on my part. So I want to show you what I discovered in that process. So let me start with what didn't work. I, I, I've been workshopping this with, um, chat GPT, chat GPT is typically my go-to and I'd worked out the process. I'd worked out the prompt and it had confirmed that it would work with it. So I went ahead and did that. I recorded the process. I uploaded the MP4 file. And then I gave it this prompt that we talked about earlier. So here's your role. Here's the context. It attaches a screen recording of the upload process and your task is to create an SOP. And it's gone ahead and created that SOP for me. And, and on the surface, it's done a really good job here. This is a great template for a SOP. It's got all the key sections, inputs, outputs. It's got this, um, RASI, you know, roles, who's responsible, who's accountable, consulted and informed. That's really important, particularly in bigger companies. And then it's gone through and done the numbered steps, which is exactly what I wanted it to do to sort of look at the video and the transcript and document those steps. It was only when I went through, started going through these and sort of checking them, reading them that I realized it's actually putting in things here that weren't in the video and it's kind of made quite a bit of stuff up. So I've, I've realized it's not actually basing this on what was in the video. And I went back and asked it. I said, could you actually read the video? And it turns out it had not, it was not able to read that video that I had uploaded. So it had just gone ahead and answered it for me. And this is a real example of not quite hallucination, but one of the problems with AI and agents in particular is you give them a role or a task and their primary objective is to complete that task. And often if they don't have the information they need, they'll either make it up or find a way around it to complete the task, a bit like a overly enthusiastic employee who, who just wants to please you. So they'll go off and do things in a way that's not really the right way to do them just so they can complete the task. And that's what's happened here. So yes, it turns out that you can't currently upload a video to the standard version of ChatGPT. It won't be able to read that video. This of course will change very quickly. They're all adding new features, but right now that's the case. I did find a workaround, which I'm going to show you, but I needed to find a 
a tool that I knew could watch the video and hear the uh, commentary on the video. And, and the tool I'm familiar with that definitely does that is Google Notebook LM. So that's what I used on this occasion. So I went and retried this. I went to Notebook LM, uh, which is a free product. Anyone can use it. And it's specifically designed to do this kind of task. It's got a different use case, which is more about studying, but it worked for this use case as well. So I uploaded the video to Notebook LM. I used the exact same prompt that I just showed you in ChatGPT. So here's your role, here's the context, here's the task. And do you have any questions before you take action? The good thing with Notebook LM for this particular use case is Notebook LM by definition and by default will only base its outputs on whatever files you've given it. So it's not like a normal LLM that's going off and looking at all the information in the world. It's only looking at the information that you've uploaded. So that's perfect for this scenario where I wanted it to stick specifically to what's in the file. And it was able to read that video and hear the commentary. And it's done also a really good job of creating, a, I would say, a, a pretty good draft of an SOP. It's got the document version number at the top. It's got purpose, inputs and outputs, much like the other version. And then it goes into the step-by-step -step process and it's split it up into content generation and YouTube upload, which is great. So it's actually done a really good job of documenting step-by-step -step process right through three different sections and then the final save process. So this is exactly what I wanted actually, which is just, it's documented step-by-step. -step. You don't get the same formatting in Notebook LM as you would in ChatGPT, for instance, but it's done exactly that. And that's a great first draft that you could copy and paste into a Word doc and share with colleagues for them to review. So yes, in terms of the quickest method right now, that's the process I'd recommend. I'd recommend you use Notebook LM to do your first draft because you can simply upload your video with your commentary and it will provide a summary step-by-step -step and then you can go off and format that however you want to. So that's the 10 minute option that I talked about at the start. I want to talk you through a way you can do this with ChatGPT because I think there's some important learnings here. So going back to ChatGPT, what I tried after it wasn't able to view that video, I switched to a new feature they've got on ChatGPT, which is called agent mode. And agent mode has the ability to do tasks like this. And, it, and I know that agent mode can, it's got a browser, so it can actually open up files in a browser and view them in the browser. So that's how I got around this. I put the video onto Google Drive in a publicly available folder. And then I asked the agent, so I switched to agent mode and said, can you go and watch this video? And the great thing about agent mode is you can actually see it. If you want to, you can sit and watch what it's doing. So I could see it, open up the browser, open up the drive file, and it was able to watch the video. It went through and watched the video and looked at the steps. However, then I asked it, were you able to hear the commentary on the video? Because agent mode right now is really designed to browse websites. And sure enough, it was able to watch the video and consume that content, but it wasn't actually at this stage able to hear the commentary. So we still didn't have the commentary. So that's when I went back to Notebook LM and I asked it to generate a transcript, which it can do very easily. So it's generated any tra a transcript of what I was saying in the video here. Here's the transcript, uh, which is word for word perfect because that's how it works. And I was then able to paste that transcript into ChatGPT agent mode. So it now had what it had seen in the video and it had the transcript and now finally, <laughs> it was able to go ahead and generate that. But again, I made a mistake here because I, I, I gave it the prompt and then went off and came back. And sure enough, it had done a really good job, but it was still inserting a few things that it had sort of put in itself that weren't actually in the original document. So this is when I reiterated, and you often have to do this with prompts. You have to keep working on them, adding new things. And I said specifically, I want you to generate the SOP based only of what is in the video and the transcript. Do not add any steps that are not specifically talked about or demonstrated in the video and transcript. So this is what's called a guardrail. And this is important when working with AI, but particularly when working with agents, if you're giving them a task, you have to give them guardrails that they can't go outside of to complete that task. And this is a great example of that. So finally, um, here it goes. Here's the SOP based solely on the steps shown and described in the video and transcript. And now when I read through this, it is fine. It's finally got it. It's got the exact steps that I covered. It hasn't added in anything else and it's based its SOP purely on that, which is great. So you can get it done with agent mode. 
but right now I would say the quickest method is still just to go to Notebook LM. The advantage of then, if you want to then bring it across to ChatGPT is you can do further formatting in ChatGPT. So for instance, the next step I said is, can you generate a flowchart based on the steps outlined? And ChatGPT does a pretty good job of image generation. And as you can see, it's created a pretty good flow chart here, pretty professional flow chart, which is exactly the steps of uploading both to YouTube and to Spotify. So that would be something that you could add perhaps as phase two to your SOP document is a flow chart that you generate using ChatGPT or some other image generator, and you can add that in. So I think the important lessons there are always check what it's giving back to you with a human eye, just to make sure it hasn't uh, hallucinated or made stuff up or added in things you didn't ask for. Secondly, give it guardrails. So if you specifically want it to only use what you've given it, make sure you specify that in the prompt. So I've now added that to that prompt, which I'll put in the show notes to make sure that it's only using what you give it. Um, but that's how I managed to get it done using chat GPT and a little bit of help from Notebook LM. And on that note, a few things to think about when you're creating these, obviously tools will change, but also often the interfaces on some of these tools may change slightly. So it's important you describe the intent of what you're doing, as well as the step-by-step -step instructions. As long as you're explaining what you're trying to do, then AI will be smart enough down the track to figure out how to do that. Even if, you know, the buttons have moved around a bit on the interface or there's been slight changes. Describe the intent as well as the specific steps that you're following, and that will help to future-proof it. And I guess just regarding security, I would avoid putting passwords in the actual SOP documents. Keep all your passwords separate, probably in a password manager, rather than having them in the SOP document. And that's how it's done. So as you can see, I've created a SOP document in less than 10 minutes, which is now ready to pass on to someone else to follow that process or down the track to be used to create an AI agent to do that process. So start thinking about the processes in your business that could be documented in an SOP. And I'll, I'll include that prompt in the show notes if you want to use that, and you can just play around with that. Get yourself a screen recorder if you haven't got one already, and just have a play around doing a couple of processes, uploading the video file and getting ChatGPT or whichever, or whichever AI tool you're using to start creating those SOP documents for you and keep them all saved in the same place so you've got them down the track to start creating AI agents. Hope you found this episode useful. If you did, please share it with a friend if you know someone else who could benefit from creating SOPs. And as always, if you're enjoying this content, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and add anything in the comments, any feedback you've got in the comments. I always appreciate receiving that. So thank you for those who are commenting. And good luck on your journey to master AI. It really is a time of rapid change. I think there's been a lot of hype around AI agents and clearly that's the direction it's going. I think for most businesses, that's going to be happening next year in 2026. So now is the time to start getting prepared, get your processes document in these SOPs and you'll, you'll have a strategic advantage when you can start building AI agents to do a lot of these processes for you. Good luck on your journey to learn more about AI until next week. I'm Scott Davison, and this is my way or the AI way.